Did you know that the American Revolutionary War wasn't just fought on land, but also on water? At one point, that struggle for naval supremacy hinged on command of a 120-square-mile lake on the Canadian border. One year into the Revolutionary War, and things were going well for the British, having chased the Patriots out of Canada. They were aiming to meet up with another British force and drive a wedge between Continental troops in New York and New England. The only thing standing in their way? Lake Champlain, which was controlled by Continental gunboats. With lots of men and materials at hand, the British set about building a new fleet of ships to cross the lake. They were even able to dismantle some of the ships they'd used in Canada, haul them over land, and rebuild them. Soon, Benedict Arnold, the Continental commander at Fort Ticonderoga, learned of the enemy's plan. To have any chance of stopping the British, he desperately needed more gunboats. So the Patriots began to build their own fleet. By October, the British were ready to set sail, having built a fleet almost twice as big as the Patriots and with far more firepower. Arnold chose his spot to meet them, a narrow channel alongside Valcour Island. And on October 11th, battle commenced. The Continental Fleet fought fiercely, even damaging a number of British ships, but were inevitably outgunned. By nightfall, a fog had descended, forcing a temporary halt in the battle. Finding a gap in the British lines, Arnold's fleet managed to escape, rowing out with muffled oars and shielded lanterns. After several days, they finally reached Ticonderoga and safety. The Battle of Valcour Island left the British in complete command of Lake Champlain, but too late because with winter setting in, they had to return to their winter quarters in Canada. This gave the Continental Army enough time to regroup and prepare for the battles ahead. 